Hey everyone, Harrison101 back at it once again with a brand new video for you and it looks like I owe you guys another an apology. I did say I was going to have this video uploaded by Wednesday. The problem is Wednesday came and my uh, laptop charger literally exploded right in front of me. It overheated and the whole thing just went and just, and just went kaput. So I had to order another new eBay, um, another new laptop charger off of eBay. Luckily they're kind of cheap, they're only like six quid, so it's like, you know, it's not a major cost. And luckily it came in very quickly. The guy sent it via Rum Royal Mail first class post, so uh, very good service, which is excellent. So I only spent two days out, so now you're getting this video on Friday instead. Sorry for the delay, but we got there in the end. Um, hopefully this charger will last longer than a week. Anyway, as you can see, this is part, I think, 16 now of our um, Formula 1 2011 career mode playthrough. We are now in Valencia for the European Grand Prix. I'll be straight with you guys, I don't like Valencia either. It's just it's this whole thing of Formula 1 and street circuits. I don't know why there's such an obsession with street circuits, because I'll be straight. Valencia is probably the best of the street circuits. But that's a bit like saying syphilis is the best of the sexually transmitted diseases in the world. It's... I do not like Valencia. I don't like driving around here. The back section annoys me. The, the constant threat of walls annoys me. The apexes are right next to the walls and that can be a problem when you're an aggressive driver like me. And just just generally, I just don't like it at all. It's, it's all stop-start. It's all slow corners here and there, covered by longer straights. It's kind of annoying. I don't like driving around it. It's nowhere near as bad as Singapore, which we'll get to later in the season, but man, this is annoying. Obviously, with the AI cranked up to expert again, I'm not going to have super fast qualifying laps compared to the rest of the field again. It's much more balanced, so hopefully you guys won't be too disappointed when you see my eventual qualifying result. All I will say on the car is that I've got my own custom setup, which you'll now see in the video. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can copy it and, and you know use it to your own advantage. The car was horrible on the harder tyres, but it was really, really good once I put the soft tyres on. I, I, I had much more confidence, I could throw it around a bit more. Really enjoyed it on, on, on the softer tyres, but the problem was was that I kind of got screwed towards the end, as you'll see towards the end of the video. When it comes to traffic and I, I had nowhere to go and blah, just... I wanted to get a faster lap in, I couldn't, but I'm still happy with what I got. So, again, you'll see over the course of the video if you pay attention what happened exactly. Anyway, the main point in this video and the reason why it's got the title it has is because I want to pick you guys' brains over something. No, I'm not a zombie. But I'm in this curious stage of my video making time right now. Um, I've been doing this now for eight months. My very, my very first video was September the 1st, 2011. It was a Formula 1 2010 video with horrible audio. Um, I remember it now. Um, it, it was me and the Lotus round Bahrain, I think. Go look it up if you haven't already. But that was my very first video. And a lot has changed and a lot has happened in the eight months between then and where we are now. I have nearly a thousand of you subscribed to my channel of over 150,000 video views. It's, it's, it's an amazing privilege and an honor to be able to make videos like this. But what I want to know from you guys is genuinely what do you think of this channel so far and the videos I'm making and the quality and the content that you're getting because it's one of those things where I don't really know where I'm at and I'd like you guys to help me tell me where I'm at in the sense of is, is do you like the direction the channel is going in right now do you like the videos do you like my commentary is there something wrong with me as a video maker or as you know as a commentator that you'd like to see me change or maybe improve or is there games that, that you think I should play more of and things like that it's one of those things where I want you guys to be brutally honest with me and tell me what you think and of me of the channel of the content of the direction things like that just generally where I'm at I want to use it to get an idea of how things are for, as a video maker and as you guys to watch because I always listen to you guys I, I take whatever feedback I can and I always use it to try and improve the video and how things are um, generally speaking I do listen to you guys so and I trust you guys because I know 95% of the you who comment on this video are good people and understand the difference between constructive criticism and just flat out flaming people 
because <clears throat> I appreciate guys who are constructive with their criticism. I mean, I've, I've had guys before tell me about how long my Forza videos were and how there was so much space without noise and um, <clears throat> how I, I adapted to that and I made videos shorter, more informative, but uh, less less of a drag to watch, for example, where they were 12 minutes long and now they're more like 5 to 6 minutes long. So, I, I appreciate the fact that people have noticed the improvement and things like that. So, I always I always appreciate when you guys are honest with me. So, please, I encourage it. Be honest. Don't be afraid to say negative things. Believe me, it's, it's, it's for both of our own good. I won't block anybody who are honest and constructive in their criticism. If you, if you get a flat out insult, I'm just going to block you. Let's make one thing absolutely clear. But if you're honest and, and you're constructive and if, it, if you give reasons as to why things are, are this way and you don't like what, what's happening, be honest. F be flat out. Tell me tell me what the deal is. And, and if you're constructive and, and you're good in the way you, you, you respond to the feedback, I'll, I'll respect that, whether it's positive or negative. So, again, thank you guys in advance for that. I do really appreciate all the feedback, all the kind words you guys have to say as well. Believe me, it doesn't go unnoticed. I don't respond to every comment now, but I do read every comment. And believe me when I say I truly appreciate all the kind words. It really does. It, it, it's the motivation to make me want to keep going and, you know, to make things better for you guys. Because you guys are enjoying it. I enjoy making them. And everybody's happy. And, that, and that's where I want to be. So... Overall, thank you guys for that, and I do really appreciate it. So, again, if you have something to say about me, my videos, the channel, the content, things like that, please let me know below. I would really appreciate a comment. And a like, of course, because, you know, you guys are awesome like that. Hopefully, we'll get to 1,000 subscribers very soon. My target was to do it by the end of May to get to 1,000. And if I do get to a thousand, I promise I will do a community race, and I have two new Forza Motorsport series in the running, in the works, and I have a whole heap of other projects on my mind and things like that. So I'm constantly brainstorming, I'm constantly trying to find a way to make these videos more enjoyable, and to get you guys involved as well, because one of these Forza series is going to involve you guys, so hopefully with a little luck... We could have something really special coming along here. And obviously a community race with you guys would be absolutely awesome as well. Formula 1 2011. So you guys are going to be great. But those guys have been asking me about live streaming and Harrison vs. The World. It's in the works. The problem is my laptop just isn't powerful enough to live stream properly. And to get the best out of the, the recording gear I've got. My laptop just isn't powerful enough. So I'm going to have to put that on hold for the time being. But I may go back to my old method, which was just playing people, recording the footage, and making a montage out of it. So I may go back to that soon in the end instead. So be patient, guys. It's in the works. It's one of these things where I wish I could do things faster, but I've also kind of got my own life right now. And I'm also kind of glad the laptop charger broke because it, it gave me a couple of days off to think about things. And I'll be honest with you, um, I've had some family problems at home right now. My dad was recently uh, let go from his job, he was made redundant, so um, a lot of financial uncertainties at home right now, so it's not great, but <clears throat> hopefully things will improve soon and you know we can, we can have some stability, because it's, it's one of those back of the head thoughts you have and it's not the nicest thing in the world to experience, but hopefully things will, things will get better soon, and yeah. Speaking of financial things, I also put a... Uh, PayPal page on my YouTube channel. It's, it's in the links on the right hand side. I'm not going to ask anybody to donate. The option is there. I know a couple of people asked me about it because a couple of people said, oh, well, I don't mind chipping a little bit in. What I will say is this if you guys really, really, really want to donate, the option is there. And I believe me, I would say, I don't care how big or how little the number is. I do. I just generally really appreciate. And, uh, and it's thankful for those people who, who who like me and my content that much that they want to help me out. What I will say is that anything that gets donated to me, I will promise I will 100% put it towards this channel. Whether it be equipment, whether it be games, whether it be video related content or possibly new hardware in the future like a, like a desktop PC so I can have a more powerful platform to run these videos so I promise you 100% of it will go back in towards this channel and I promise I would give shout outs and first priorities to, to anybody and everybody who would take the time to donate so the PayPal option is there and I do 
want to say a massive thank you and appreciation to those who who actually would take the time to go out uh, out of their way and do that so thank you all so much for that um, again for the kind words I do really appreciate it so I'm gonna let you now to enjoy the rest of the video I hope you enjoyed the commentary sorry again for the delay I, I really hope it doesn't happen again I hate letting you guys down so um, yeah I, I'm really sorry for that but um, anyway I've been Harrison 101 please like comment and subscribe to the video I hope you really enjoyed it and I will catch you later this weekend thanks for watching sign out some time repairing the car. That's the end of the session. We're ninth on the grid. We wanted to be a little higher, but we're still in a good position for the race.